Hey YouTube. Today I'm going to be looking at my insulators. My overall insulator collection. Um I have a lot of insulators. Um and I have a lot of hardware down there like posts and stuff. But today I'm going to be looking at these and all of my insulators. So, we'll get started by um, start with this insulator. So, this insulator is very small. Let me pull out. A normal spool. Okay. This is my Pierce 355. It's perfect condition, except for a few chips right there and just along the edges, just a little bit. So that's normal size spool. This is small spool. And that's here. Let me grab like a quarter or something. Okay, so this is a half dollar. I'm going to compare it to this. So that's a half dollar. It's almost the width. Sorry. It's almost the width of so half dollar half dollar right there mini spool and we'll place the half dollar right up next to it. it covers this area right here so anyways that is one of my spool insulators and it's got no chips or cracks so it's perfect and then like I said I have this spool insulator it's really nice so alright so now we'll get to these these are big strain insulators so we're just comparing, um, comparing every single insulator to my half dollar so this one is really nice it is Let's see here. Can I find it? There. It has that on it. So if anybody knows what that company name is, then shout out to me. Leave it in the comments. So this is a guy wire strain insulator. So what it's used for is a wire would be holding a big pole up, okay? And then... So this insulator, for the main purpose, so this would go right on the guy wire, right in the middle of it. Oh yeah, real quick, I have two of them. So it would go right in the middle of the guy wire. And for the main purpose is so that it would not get electricity to the bottom half of the guy wire in case of the guy wire touching one of the main wires. So... That's what these two are used for, and this one, and this brown one, it's perfect condition, so, there we go on that one, and then these two gray ones. Now we'll move on to this nice Ohio brass piece. It's a full gray one, no chips or anything. We got this near the railroad, really nice. So, there we go. And then, here's an SBT. SBT, I don't know if you can see that. But, it's Ohio Brass too. And it's a real nice insulator, no chips, no cracks. And then, we got two of these 
so CPS nine oh nine nine oh five eighty fifty five R or something. So I have two of these pieces. Really nice. No chips, no cracks. Real nice. Okay, now we'll move on to brown insulators. Well, a lot of my brown ones. So this one is a lap. 1931 reddish brown no chips no cracks perfect condition so that one is super cool insulator and this is it right there okay then we have this and I don't know what brand or I don't know whatever I don't know what it is but it is just a brown, it's just a flat brown, it's not like that nice glaze look that you can see that it was brush painted. But anyways, so we got that one. So that's overall so far. Then we got this umbrella shaped, no chips, no cracks, insulator. Jeez, if I quit dropping it, then it won't have any so this one's really nice it is beautiful i love the glaze on it here let me put it on light it's kind of a purplish glaze it's really cool well, it looks purple on the screen but it's actually red like a deep red so that's it right there um then we have these two lock lock e insulators. And let's see if I can find the logo for you. Oh, that's very strange. This one does not have the logo on it. But anyways, they're just two skirted ones with the white bottom. And I got two of them, so here's the other one. This one has a logo on it. Ugh, come on, focus camera. Lock high, that's an H right there. High top, 77. Um, USA V, or what appears to be V. So those two are really nice. No chips, no cracks. That's for most of my insulators. Here is a... I don't know what this one is. But it is a suspension bell. Uh, really nice. So... There we go. And I'm not going to pull these out, but... They're also lock insulators suspensions small ones so our next insulator it's gray but it's much bigger than uh these ones so it's a much higher voltage so it's really nice it's it's a b I don't know if it's Ohio Brass or something, but it's uh, got a B right here, and then V1920. It's really nice. So, put that one right there. It's a big insulator. Oh, it's really heavy. Okay, let's get to the glass ones. Here we have a Hammond Gray number 17. Made in USA. Human Gray. The camera will focus there. So, Human Gray 17. So, it does have a crack right there. And a little chip right there. That's a nice insulator. It's a smaller insulator, definitely. So, that's it right up next to it so that was probably used for the telegraph 
Next is a Pyrex glass insulator. So, it's really nice. No chips, no cracks. It is a lead head. I took the lead out. Took the lead out. So, CSA made in USA. Pyrex. TM. R-E-G-U-S. Patent office. So, it's really nice. And now, next, we have a coming gray 19. Really nice. Okay, real quick, I want to go real quick to this insulator. It's blue glass. It's a Hemingway Gray 40. But it does look like the Brookfield Signals, or that insulator that's called the Signal. It's really nice. And then, just to speed things up, this Hemingway Gray right here, 660. Another Pyrex, but with the guy wire. Hemingway Gray 45 back there. Hemingway Gray. Number nine, two of those, him and gray, 42, I also have two of those, and here's a highlight right here, it's a HG Co, so basically him and gray glass, H, G, and I got my suspensions all these but anyways that's my video